Okay. Get my way, bandy cam. Three years later. Oh, I did close my door. Oh, goody. Hello everybody, my name is Captain Fructose and welcome to this video which is actually going to be a combination of two games. The first one which we are in currently is called Automation and you can design and build your own car. The cool thing about this game is the car that you design and build in this game you can import into beamng.drive and actually drive it around and test it out. So what we're going to do today is we're going to design and build us a car and then we're going to test it out in BeamNG and see how well it works. Let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot of uh, things to choose from. We can go back to 1945, like we could build this nice 1945 like car or something. But I'm kind of wanting to see how fast of a car I can build. Which, I mean, I guess I could use the older body styles, but I wanted to look kind of somewhat-ish, sleek-ish. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Somewhat sleek looking. Let's do this one. I'm going to do this one. We're going to do a carbon fiber panels are going to be all carbon fiber. Let's go with space frame. Or is this better? No, 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 no. Okay, space frame is going to be the best for what we want. We'll make it out of light AHS steel. Let's make it front longitudinal. We don't want it to be front wheel drive. This is going to be a fast, like super awesome car. We don't want it to be front wheel drive. Let's do double wishbone because, you know, better control on things. And, you know, it looks cooler anyway. I mean, look at this. Look at this suspension. Look at it. Just look at it. It's amazing. Rear suspension. Let's do multi-link because apparently that's even better. The, the, the bars were bigger, so I'm assuming that means better. So now we got the basics of the car built. Time to build us an engine. We can do several different things here. So we could go with like a boxer engine or a horizontally opposed engine, which is this. Six cylinder, eight. This one can go up to 12. 90 degree V8. That's that's what I'm thinking. And we'll get as much power out of this thing as we possibly can. And we'll make it out of uh, magnesium because that's the lightest. I think it's the lightest. Yeah, it is definitely light. So we'll go with magnesium. Too high. Okay, so let's put it there. We'll do a dual overhead cam because it's better with five valves for more horsepower. That's aluminum silicon, I think. It's a... It's a something special stuff that's lighter and better. So we're going to do that. It's a 6.4 liter. So it's not like overly large, but it is pretty good size. Lightweight titanium, lightweight forged pistons, lightweight titanium con rods, variable valve timing for all of the cams because we want it to adjust and that will give us more horsepower as well. So we want more horsepower. And of course, we're going to put turbos on this thing. We're going to do ball bearing turbos. Ooh, yeah, look at that thing. Boy, I can, it's clear. Why can I see through it? That is weird. Uh, we have knocking. Let's adjust our fuel. Richer fuel means less knocking. Uh-oh. What the freak? Piston stress. Okay, so, so far we are at, well, we got some pretty good numbers, but we're still, we've still got some knocking. Oh, that's, oh, that's bad. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, whatever. You know what? It's race car. Race cars break. It's fine. We're fine. We don't need to worry about it. Let's go to the body. So now we've got our fixtures. So we can adjust like this. We need headlights. And they need to be good looking headlights for this thing. Because we want it to look somewhat cool-ish, right? Like, um, I don't know if I like those ones, honestly. So let's not do those ones. Go away. Actually... It doesn't look too bad, considering. Let's make them slightly smaller. Okay, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, I can deal with that. We need a nice looking grill. Okay, that works. I'm going with that. Probably not the best looking thing ever, but it works. So that's what I'm going with. Hood scoop, let's ventilate the hood. Let's get the air out from underneath our hood so we don't have too much lift. Not that. What about that? That'll work. That'll work. Okay. I wish it was darker, though. I wish it was more black than that. We could put some rear vents to, like, vent stuff out. Vent more air out from underneath the car because downforce and all of that. All right. So that will vent out the rear or something. Antenna. Why not? You know what? Why not? Why not? Let's put an antenna on it because we can. Oh, it's so cute. 
You know what we never did, though? I never put on tail lights. There we go. Ish. But, I mean, that works. There we go. Whoa, those are sticking clear out. All well. Right height. We'll lower it just a hair. Because race car. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our car finished. Ooh, boy. This thing's gonna be a beast, I hope. We'll find out. Next page. Now we're gonna export car to beamng.drive. That is our next step. Mmm, she's sexy. Boy, look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. All right. Uh, we're going to name it... It's a Phantom XC. Captain Fructose Model 5. Perfect. Export to BeamNG. All right, now all that's left to do is go and drive it in BeamNG and see how fast it is. Alrighty, guys, now that we finally have our car exported into BeamNG Drive, here it is. This is our Cinus Phantom XC, or our, what did I call it? The Phantom XC? Phantom XC. That's what it's called. We call it the Phantom XC, and it is finally exported and here in game. So now we can go ahead and test it and see if we designed a car that's actually worth driving. So without further ado, let's try this thing out. See how fast this goes. Oh crap. Balls! Oh, you know what? We probably should have put bigger brakes on this thing. This definitely sticks to the track pretty well. Holy crap. You know, for having designed this in a matter of like, maybe a half hour, like, this thing drives pretty freaking good. Oh dear. Oh no, no, no. Oh, hit the wall. Oh no, he didn't hit the wall. Oh good. Oh good. Now the straight of way is right over here, so we should. Good night, man. This thing is insane. Whoa. Ah, this thing definitely sticks to the road, all right. We did a good job on this. All right, top speed test, here we go. Straight away. Holy freak. Good night, this thing is fast. Brakes, 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 brakes. Holy freak. Good night. Like, this thing has a legitimate. Oh, balls. Oh, sh crap. We're still drivable. It's still drivable. We can make it. Oh, dear. Hello. Well, that kind of ripped the. See, we can see the undercarriage now. There's our engine and our twin turbos, but we don't have like any like driveline or anything apparently. I don't know. I can't see it if we do, but it's still going, which is kind of surprising actually. If I wasn't such, you know, such a terrible driver, we may have actually been able to finish it with all four wheels instead of just three. Woo! You know, it's actually not bad for a car like that the, I designed in like a few minutes and it looks pretty good too, honestly. I can't complain. Okay, corner turning this way. Oh, we only have front, one front wheel, I forgot, so we can't turn as sharp. Oh, now we're stuck. Ugh, freak. Yeah, we're stuck. This thing's all sorts of dented up. Turbos are still there, though, so far as I can tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I think we dented something important. We don't have a drive line to the back wheels. Why is there not a drive? There's not a drive line to the front wheels, either. I feel like they're missing some important parts. What if I reset it and then look? See, we still don't have a drive line or a rear axle or anything like that. That's weird. But, I mean, the car works great. This thing is fast. Whoa. Headlights? Can I turn the headlights on? 
Maybe. This is a fast car. I was not expecting it to be anywhere near this fast. Oh, balls. We're good. Anyways, guys, unfortunately, that's all I have time for in this episode. So if you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up and let me know. And if you have any ideas and want to see me design another car, leave a suggestion in the comments below the video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.